Your country has recently attracted significant investment in the energy transition sector. Uh, can you tell us how, uh, about the Moroccan industrial policy and how it is integrated into the national development strategy? Thank you for the invitation. I want to extend my thanks to General Secretary of UNCTAD and uh, all your guests. Um, regarding the Moroccan case, I think that one of the major things that we've been looking to very, with a lot of scrutiny is how to conduct uh, industrial policy, structural change in the same time with a peaceful change uh, where you have both stability and uh, uh, social peace because the challenge is not just uh, to bet on growth but also on development and to do both you need absolutely to be inclusive in your policies so the question was how to craft a structural change through mainly an industrial policy without jeopardizing the vulnerable populations and territories in particular. And uh, we've been through three major uh, dynamics. The first one, of course, is 100% industrial. With an industrial policy, uh, uh, we started with the trade component with 100 FTAs, uh, free trade agreements, offering uh, practically an access to 2.5 billion uh, uh, consumers. So we've been very active during two decades signing these FTAs and leveraging uh, the potentialities of the, the Kingdom of Morocco. Two, we've been very aggressive on industry itself. We have now 14 sectors, 56 ecosystems, and we've been through four generations of industrial policy since 2005. Today, the automotive industry sector outperforms all the other sectors, including chemicals and para, uh, and para uh, chemicals with something like uh, 900,000 uh, uh, cars, nearly 1 million cars uh, exported to 70 countries. Uh, and with good clusters and ecosystems, the last uh, investment I signed with the rest uh, of the members of the government uh, two weeks ago covers $1.2 billion in uh, electrical batteries and storage uh, uh, with the Sino-American uh, 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 group. Uh, uh, so I don't want to run into figures and numbers, there are so many things to say, but just to say that we tried to focus on these generations of industrial policy with a couple of sectors of champions. The first one is automotive industry, where we, I mean, it's, it's a big, it's really a big, big shift uh, uh, in terms of added value, in terms of number of cars, in terms of destinations, in terms of, but we had also to work on the uh, uh, aero uh, um, aircraft industry, uh, which is the second industry uh, and the first industry in Africa. Uh, and Morocco is the first exporter in Africa uh, with uh, some, something like $2 billion. The car industry uh, 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 is 10 times the, the, the number. And uh, then we have this new uh, offer of uh, the green hydrogen uh, with 1 million hectares. Hectare, 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 voilà. Hectares. <laughs> uh, 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 with the first step of 300,000 and uh, uh, an integrated offer or in terms of uh, uh, infrastructure. Of course, uh, we have uh, the objective to uh, multiply by three the investments in renewable energies uh, every year, and we're working a lot to, to reach this objective, and uh, multiply by five the investments in the network. Uh, and we're, we're, we're doing a lot to make it uh, uh, happen. Uh, but overall, this is the centrality of the, of the Moroccan policy, but you have the surrounding policies, human resources and talent management, very uh, aggressive policy where we invested aggressively in the uh, TVET, in vocational training. We have this uh, royal project of what we call the cities of skills providing something like 40,000 people and every city is a, 
is uh, composed of uh, five to six villages, an automotive village, an air, air, aircraft village, uh, uh, for instance, a tourism village, a uh, healthcare village, uh, and uh, you, have, you, have, you have very heavy investments that we conducted with the regions and, ter and territories and the corporate sector. You also have, of course, something like 180,000 people every year get into the market from higher education, from TVET. And uh, one of the major things that we did, we needed an instrument, a strong instrument, in order to also contribute directly to investments. Uh, we fund the capital expenditures up to 30% for projects more than $5 million. So we have this new investment code that we uh, approved last year, and uh, the results are really very good uh, 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 in terms of uh, uh, strategic projects.